Hello everyone! So today the goal is simply get this scooter out of the office and Andre is gonna explain how but we want to test it today. Hi guys, so as Milad explained what today we're going to go by scooter outside. We're going to connect everything, power on from the laboratory power supply, uh, to change some wires, to connect the throttle, to put it on the steering bar. Everything should be like a regular scooter except the menu, the some, some display things that we cannot fixed today. So today we're going to have a ride. Stay tuned. Here we need to clean the surface out of chips after drilling, so I use the soft brush. Also we need to add some grease for better cutting. So these are the, the first tool, second tool and the last one. So we finish uh, making the thread using the last one, but start with this one. Uh, also, you can see that like this the difference uh, among the, the cutting edges. So just remember, start with the one line, second step is two lines and the final one is without lines okay diameter for m4 thread is 3.3 uh, the drill bead you need to use i use the uh, electrical screwdriver because uh, here is not enough space to use uh, the special tool so originally you need to use this one but I'm already a bit experienced using the electrical screwdriver so that I I don't need it So we need to clean this uh, surface here to prepare the place for the battery and uh, we need to, to put a controller here. I cleaned all this surface with uh, 
um, special tissue and the brush out of chips because uh, otherwise if uh, we have some small metal dust we probably can uh, shortcut the the board so it is better to avoid this the holes are done don't ask me how it was okay so finally we uh, we installed this controller on the spacers one and a half 15 millimeters yes and with the capacitors it will be 44 3 so um, it should fit exactly with the height of, of this inner uh, inner space so it's not not even touching the the, the bottom space like connected and then install back okay so we use m3 uh linky screws here to mount our controller okay <coughs> so this is how it uh, looks from a side from top there is enough space here for wires for connections for everything even to connect a USB cable to controller and adjust it to program it especially let's set the, the battery and put it in a place our battery and this is and this is M4 screws from the upper side the battery is mounted and uh, moved a little bit uh, backward here is the the wheel the back wheel of the scooter here is the main connection the power connection some wires from the from the battery this is our controller also wires from the hole sensor from the motor hub What is going to be uh, the next step? So this laboratory long uh, tough wires will be exchanged by these tiny uh, connectors where it is possible to change it and also we need to extend the, the battery charger since we moved the battery a little bit back uh, the last thing 
we're going to do is connect the main power from battery so after everything will be done here the connection we will use the laboratory power supply to to check if everything works correctly also we need to connect original throttle and uh, the last tricky part is this cable we still don't know what is this but i hope we can ride the, the scooter without without this without the identification of this cable let's go
so now we need to to put this wire uh, inside the the tube and connect it directly to motor controller so we need to, to do this this wiring here we install the the throttle the potentiometer we need to define how to open this ceilings, the holes and put the cable inside the tube Okay, so here we have the hull sensor replaced with this uh, little cable with a tiny connector. Also, the the wires of the of the motor shorter. Battery is still not connected, but first we will try with the laboratory power supply. Also, the cable of uh, the the throttle um, moved here. The cabling done. So here you see the cables and the throttle ready to be connected. Uh, we also are going to use this uh, switch. Because we don't have any control of the uh, of the battery main power, so we need like somehow to uh, avoid the uh, cases with the, when we cannot stop the the scooter. So because we're just testing today, it will be here somewhere like on wires. finish with the wires the cables you see they're like duplicated to be sure the the current level um, can be transmitted uh, through this these wires the black one 
with this switcher. And now we are going to test it using the, the laboratory power supply. So the connection is done. We have one more switch, the power supply. We will set 36 volts as we are going to use with the battery. Here is 23. Okay, and the current level up to 4 amp. Okay, no problem. So, here we go. Everything is done. Uh, supply is connected, here also we have the switcher, we can check everything, switch on, another switcher on, we have the light here, everything fine, still not from battery, but that will be the, the second attempt, the, the next attempt. And the throttle here already installed on, on, on the steering bar. Let's try. Okay. It's in the torque mode, so we're going to connect the battery, check, and uh, go to have a ride. <laughs> So now everything connected to battery, here you see everything could be closed by the cover. We can check how it works using battery with our switch, let's do it. Abracadabra, okay. Seems everything works. This is our throttle. This is our hub wheel. Okay, done. Assembling and uh, have a ride. Hi, so this is our first ride uh, on this scooter. We just five minutes ago finally assembled it and, uh, uh, and closed all the covers. So I'm really curious to, to try and uh, let's go. <laughs> no, it's nice. The wheels are deflated and uh, the battery should be recharged, so I think it will be much, much better the next time we will try to have a ride outside on the street, so stay tuned. <laughs> Ciao!